Peace in everyone, welcome to the Dragon Slower stream. My name is Kevin Jaguar, and today we are playing Dolmen. Okay, so this is Dolmen. This is a game by Massive Studio, uh, Massive Work Studio. Uh, not released. There you go. This is a Kickstarter game, and there you go. A oh, there is a new game thing. I'm sorry, I didn't know that there was one. Um, this is a game by uh, Massive Work Studio, not on sale, but there is a Kickstarter, uh, which is about 85% of the way there. So you guys can go check it out. By the time it's on YouTube, it is not going to... Uh, the Kickstarter will be over, unfortunately. But uh, for the people who are in the stream, you guys can go check it out. And uh, yeah, this is this is Dead Space meets Dark Souls. And for everyone who, who knows my history with Dark Souls, I think this is going to be a very interesting experience. Um, game might be a little bare bones, but this is a Kickstarter prototype, essentially. No, I'm not. I'm not going to judge this on the same merits as a early access game. Even this is not what it is. It is, you know, we're we're just uh, we're learning here. Uh, it, it is a very much a work in progress, in the the fairest uh, sense of the word. So, long loading times, there might be some weird glitches, some, you know, everything. Like, it's not, this is a limited uh, release just to, to showcase the game, so, um, no problem. Is this, okay, I was going to say. If... It seems to be very silent. There we go. Kind of have that Iron Man UI, uh, although this is a third-person game. Okay, I, I I have a hand. This game is pro hands. It took a stance. I hate going into these games and finding rooms that are, like, much cleaner than my apartment. Like, s stop bragging, please. Still a cutscene, I'm not controlling any of this. As evidenced by my my hand against my face. <laughs> there you go, okay. Let's go to this crazy sci-fi control panel. Where are we? Okay, we're in space. I guess we are in space. Look. Open your eyes. 
I like the logo. The logo is really cool. I like a good logo. Okay, there we go. So, long jump, leap to attack. Okay, so <laughs> there's like 20 different uh, control schemes. Uh, so, jump to attack. Sh okay, well, okay. Well then, we are not going to learn anything. We're not going to... That's fine. You know what? I always encourage people, first thing when you play a game, try the buttons on your controller. It's simple. Kickstarter build. Alright. So, we can move around. We can move the camera. Uh, a doesn't do anything. B does the roll. Because it's Dark Souls. This is left trigger, so I can... I can shoot. Whoa. Okay, so I can shoot like this, which removes some uh, some energy. I have three bars: health, stamina, and power. And I can do this. I don't know what it does. But it's going uh, a lower frequency. Okay, and I can shield. The walk cycle is a little little weird. Okay, and I can swing like this, or I can do a, okay. Quick attack, strong attack. Good to know. We're ready now. Uh, sure. I'm guessing that they added that after people complained, maybe. Ugh. Roll. Hey, I killed the thing! Should not be as pro as I am, but we all know how uh, how I do on, on Dark Souls games. There okay, so I can I can hold the thing down to uh, to run faster. Movement is a little it's weird it looks weird. The animation looks weird compared to the speed of movement. a good start although there are a lot of oh you know what uh, this doesn't do anything sure. okay I don't know how to heal is gonna make it a little difficult. Oh crap! So, oh crap! So this is already really difficult. I don't know how to heal. How do I heal? Heal. Surely there's a heal thing. So I have items here, but I don't have a description for the items, which is unfortunate. Um, heal. I have a bunch of things here. Recipes. Okay, so there is crafting in this game. Um, controls. Energy mode. What? Oh. Apparently I can cycle between two energy modes. I don't know what that does, but I can do it. I 
get the feeling that I'm gonna die really fast. It really doesn't help. I I give you no humanity, no heaven, just a place called here. Be a good child and choose the best death. Dramatic. Like, I don't want to die with... Okay, there you go. I... I don't know what these consumables do. Maybe this gives me ammo? Yeah, okay, it's giving me ammo, so... Great, but I would much rather have health. Don't be afraid. Awakening is kind of a needed death, and almost painless. Okay. Apply elements to weak... Okay, and unlock perks. Sure. When it's cold, I wear my brother's synthetic skin. When I am hungry, I cry for the food inside of his stomach. Okay. Um, really? so this is where it came from. Hey, user with a name. That's quite all right. We're really just beginning on our journey in Dolmen. <gasps> is this a save? I think it's a save. Okay. I don't know what happened. It gave me a menu and then it did things. Health! I got I got healed! Oh, this is awesome. Okay, so I, I'm now back on the ship. So I can teleport between these things. These are campfires. I can level up. That's good. And, um... I can see everything. Everything is a single screen. You can immediately see what's gonna... What's up. I like that. Um here strength strength and now I don't have enough for a second level but that's fine I can craft stuff sadly I, I used a lot of my stuff because I didn't understand how it worked but I'm sure I'll find more oh I can okay I can I can craft a new helmet which unfortunately doesn't give me any information compared to this helmet that I'm currently wearing um, hopefully they solve that I know that Dark Souls doesn't solve that um, I think that's Really, really problematic. Comparing items should be de a default thing at this point in gaming. I'm not gonna craft anything for now. What else? Guess I can get more ar types of alt armor. All right, two weapons, one zone shield, one zone axe. I don't have any, oh, okay. oh, I don't have any equipment. So that might be why. We're gonna assume that that's why. Okay, so there's a lot of elemental stuff in this game. I get the feeling that there, as we move forward, elemental stuff will will uh, matter quite a bit more. Okay.
And um, I think that what I'm what I'm doing right here is uh, switching equipment that I'm carrying into the base. So if I die, then presumably I don't lose that equipment. Maybe. I really don't know. We're, we're assuming a lot of stuff. I have not played XCOM 2. I played XCOM 1. I assume you mean XCOM 2 too, uh, which I have not played. I've played XCOM 2 1. Okay. I'm the biggest fan of my shield. You know, you know what I don't like about my shield actually? I it's very hard to um, remain shielding against an enemy because I'm always move like he continues sh uh, shielding in the direction that I'm moving. I feel like if I was able to strafe it would make a big difference in the usability of the shield. Man, those attacks are super slow. Which I know, I know are Dark Soul statement, but boy, they they just don't look realistic. It like it never looks realistic in Dark Souls. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. <sighs> it's gonna be one of those games. XCOM isn't my type of game. Because XCOM does a thing that I absolutely hate. Um, losing progression. I will always hate losing. I, and it, it places you in potential situations where... You can be screwed. Now you will never, never abide by by those. No, I'm poisoned. Okay. Like, uh, oh my god! Like these games are so incredibly, stupidly slow. It doesn't look realistic. Like when I press a button and the guy just goes. Whoa! Like, it's, it's, like, the problem is that this is Dark Souls, right? Like, Dark Souls is, I press a button, and it happens two seconds later. It, and if this is, and if this is your style of game, then fine, but come on. Like, this doesn't, this does not look realistic. No one, like, that, that the axe isn't heavy. The movement of the character doesn't feel that heavy and again I don't feel like it's Dolmen specifically it's this genre I don't understand this genre where if I do this now I can move like it's a, it's a three second four second attack it's weird it's weird that people connect with this I don't I don't understand it Okay, there is locking on. I didn't realize at first, but you're right. Whoa. I don't know. I know I'm not... I know I just want speed, you know? I, I just want... I want responsiveness. Responsiveness of controls is... M my number one thing in games the most important thing above everything else and these games do not offer that by design and i 
I don't understand how people kind of play these games and go, yeah, I'm fine with a game that's con controlling well. Um, like as far as, as far as what the game in theory is, I like what it is. I like uh, I, I like the um, the potential of the elemental system. Like you, you attack enemies and there's no stun. Like my attacks take take forever. I remember the last year when I pressed the button and then finally it came out. The effect came out this year, but when you attack enemies, there's no stun. I like why? How is that a genre? How is that a genre? How is that something that people go, yes, I want to play that. I want to play a game that is unres unresponsive. I don't get it. People need to explain to me. Yeah, I mean, th this game looks really nice. I love how this game looks. And um, it was billed as um, Dark Souls meets Dead Space. I, I see, I definitely see that. But boy, the Dark... And for people who love Dark Souls, I think they will love this. But for people who like responsive controls, I do not recommend this game. Like it, look at, look at this. Like there is no, like, and the problem is that um, this is a game in alpha, right? So not everything is is going to be on screen, and not everything is going to be available. Presumably, uh, in a in the later version, maybe there would be a bar that would show me, okay, you can't shoot until this is full again. Um, I'm sure that all of those are are very much contributing factors for me. And and the pro, I think the problem is that if I were the dev. Those would have been things that I 100% would have in the game at this point. Because those are things that are super important to me. Um, and at that point, it becomes a matter of... Of uh, priority... From one dev to another, I guess. I kind of... I don't know if I'm saving by doing this. And also, I don't know... I have... Okay, so I, I think I can level up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to the ship. I'm not much of a... Yeah. Well, it, it is true that um, Dead Space is a lot more atmospheric and ambient and whatnot. That space was, ironically, a little slower, I think. Uh, 
I need, I need some Kenny Potato Carcass because I need to make armor. I just want to make armor right now. And I'm not saving, which is making me, uh, I kind of wish I, I knew when it was saving. Like, if I go to the, uh, to the thing, but I don't press anything, is it going to save? I really don't know. Uh, thank you for letting me know. That's, that's very good to know. Okay, when we come back, we're gonna uh, we're gonna play some more uh, some more Dolmen. It's a it is a demo, so um, I know that uh, or it's a Kickstarter demo. I'm I don't know how long it is. I feel like I haven't done nothing yet, so we'll try to do a little bit more progression, more Dolmen after this. Let's stay tuned. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. You know the drill, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. And be sure to check out some games I've made, like Arrow Light Core. Alright, until next time, peace out!